Hey guys, welcome to Easy Academy. Today we're going to be learning about different types of bias that occurs when we're conducting a survey. So the first type of bias is going to be voluntary response bias. This is going to be where only people who choose to respond are the ones responding to the survey. And this is bad because this often tracks only people who have stronger opinions because they want to voice their opinion so they're the ones who tend to respond to these surveys. So that's going to be the voluntary response bias. The second type of bias is going to be convenient sampling. This is where you only survey people who are really easy to ask. So for example, if you're going to be surveying your school, but you only ask your friends about their opinions, that's going to be convenient sampling because your friends are easier to ask than some random strangers, so you're effectively putting bias into your survey. The third way is going to be, the third bias is going to be under coverage. This is where you leave out a group of population. So for example, if you're trying to survey the United States and take a comprehensive sample of people in the United States, but you only survey people from Arizona, that's going to be some pretty serious under coverage since you're not surveying the rest of the 49 states. Now the next one is going to be the non-response bias. This is where the chosen individuals do not respond or refuse to respond. So for example, if you do a telephone call survey where you phone in to randomly selected individuals and some of those individuals choose not to respond or refuse to respond and answer your question, that's going to be not the non-response. Uh, bias there. And that's going to be bad because it limits your sample size. Although it doesn't necessarily lead to wrong conclusions, you just can't use that individual anymore for your sample. The next one is going to be the response uh, bias. So this is where the behavior of a respondent or someone who you're surveying causes bias in their answers. For example, if you're going to ask them something about that's deeply unpopular, then they might uh, choose to respond in a certain way because they want to be socially desirable and not have hold controversial opinions. So when your survey is pretty controversial, this can lead to response bias because people might think a certain way, but they don't want to respond a certain way because they fear um, people judging them or public retaliation because of their opinions. So asking someone a question that is uh, unfavorable that even though they might agree with, they might choose to respond in a different way. So the final uh, type of bias would be the wording of the question, which is uh, kind of similar to the response bias. It's where the wording of a question influences the answers that are given. So if you ask, for example, loaded questions like, for example, like how dumb is biology or something maybe the person you're surveying doesn't think biology is dumb but that negative connotation that is uh, immediately put in front of them kind of skews the results a bit causing the wording of the question to influence the actual result and the answer of the person and biology is a really cool subject so a lot of people might actually like biology so that would be a type of bias within surveys